so this week is a sad week for us Leapin fans. So if you haven't heard it yet, basically Leapin's factories they have all been raided and closed down. There could be more out there that haven't been raided yet. I'm not really sure, but uh, their boss has uh, been arrested, and yeah, this is basically what Lego fans wanted for three years, and it happened. But they kind of had it coming because they are basically getting on Lego's nerves and. Yeah, Lego is not happy. So in 2017, Lego filed a lawsuit against Leapin, and uh, last year it was revealed that uh, Lego has won the lawsuit. So that's that. So basically, what happened is uh, the Shanghai police announced on uh, Weibo, uh, which is basically the China's version of uh, Facebook, and I'm not sure when, but yeah, they have announced that they have successfully raided the Leapin factories and have arrested their boss. And according to some sources, the investigation started on October of 2018 and the raids went down uh, on the 23rd of April. So I'm not sure why the news spread was so slow. Maybe the, the Shanghai police only announced this very recently. So yeah. That's that. The police confiscated 630,000 finished Leapin sets and also some machines, 90 modes, 200,000 instruction booklets, and 200,000 printed boxes, which uh, total up to about 29 million US dollars, which is a big loss for Leapin. And you can see uh, all of them right here. And also, some people are saying that uh, the bosses of Shenyuan and Bella were invited by the police to witness the smashing of the Leapin factory and uh, were then invited to sign agreements not to produce uh, Lego clones anymore. I'm not sure if that's true or not. It could just be something to scare off other people, but yeah it could be true or it could be fake i'm not 100 percent sure so for zingbao i'm not sure if they'll be affected or not because some people say that they will be affected and they'll stop making products and some people say that zingbao will keep making products and focus on their own design and stuff like that uh, but I'm not really sure about that as well. And as for the survival of Leapin, it's kind of up in the air, but there's some people saying that Norga will officially replace Leapin, and yeah, that's a lot to talk about, which, yeah, I will cover uh, that topic in another video, and also what will happen to the rest of the Leapin sets that have been left behind, and they are still in the possession of individual sellers and stuff like that. So what are my thoughts on this? Well, I don't feel as sad as all the other people in the community do because I'm sure that there'll probably be another brand in the future. They'll pop up and they'll clone Lego sets and yeah, they'll be just like Leapin or maybe not. I could be wrong, but yeah, there'll still be other brands uh, out there like Shenyuan, Bella or Lily because they have not been targeted by Lego and yeah, I'm sure they'll continue to thrive in the future. And if Leapin do decide to pop up again, I'll make sure to buy their sets. And I do feel bad for the people who are just getting into Leapin, but found out that Leapin is shutting down. So yeah, if you're one of those people, buy those sets now because now is the chance. And if you don't uh, take the chance, then you won't be able to get any more Leapin sets in the future once they run out of stock and they'll become even more expensive than Lego sets which could be possible I'm not sure but it could be possible so yeah that's that so I'll put links to all of the articles that I have sourced from down in the description box below along with all my social media pages down in the description so if you like my channel make sure to click the icon on the left to subscribe and watch more videos by clicking the two icons on the right so that's pretty much it for this video thanks for watching and I'll see you very soon